Well, this is Billy Goat, and tonight I'm here at the Star Theater in Portland, Oregon with Jeff from Low Pan. How are you doing, buddy? Very well, thank you. Awesome, awesome. Well, uh, thank you for uh, letting me in here tonight to yeah, enjoy absolutely. the show and take some pictures. And um, Is this obviously not your first time in Portland, right? Not the first time. I think this is our third or fourth time, actually. Okay. When was the last time you were here? Uh, it's been probably two years, I think. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Any favorite spots around here that you like to go to when you, if, if you have time, you know, because I know you have a pretty uh, long schedule. Donuts is always a favorite of ours. Yeah. We, uh, we always like to stop there. I think tomorrow we're talking about doing the big glazed donut challenge that they have there. We can, nice. If we can manage, we'll see what happens. <laughs> cool. So I, I take it that, you know, on a big tour like this, you guys aren't out partying every night. You're just kind of like. Not, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's usually, uh, you know, the shows are running typically a little later than what we've done in the past. You know, a lot of tours like this, they start at, you know, 7 or 8 or something like that, and we're done by 9.30. But these shows have been starting around 9 and ending around 2, so oh, geez. it's, uh, you know, by the end of the night, everybody's pretty wiped. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine. Um, so tell us about what you're working on musically. Uh, we got a bunch of new stuff. We're uh, we're playing tonight, and we're uh, we just finished recording a bunch of stuff. Not really sure what we're gonna do with all of it yet, but uh, we've got seven or eight new songs that we've uh, laid down. So we're having those mixed currently, and uh, we'll see what happens. Right on. You have a label uh, for that? Are you sticking with the same one, or? Um, not really sure yet. Not sure. So, okay. Uh, Shopping around. We, I think Small Stone is always going to be uh, kind of a home for us, but sure. we'll see how that goes. I'm not really sure. We we did two records with them already, and uh, we'll see if maybe there's someone else who's interested, or I don't know. Yeah. We'll see what, yeah. we'll see what comes down the road with that. With the new material, do you feel um, do you feel like I don't know? Are things changing with the band, or are things just getting more nuanced as? Um, I would with say they're style. definitely different than they used to be. Yeah. Uh, you know, with having a new guitar player and you know just kind of incorporating you know his personality into the group and mm -hmm. uh, he's a, just an excellent songwriter and he's a very very strong musician. He's, he's also a lot younger than us, so he's you know I think a lot of we experience a lot of the stuff that we've done you know six seven times. It's we experience it through his eyes for the first time. I think a lot of times. So it feels a lot better that way. I think our songwriting has gotten a lot stronger. Stylistically, I would say there's some changes as well. I mean, we're not quite what I would refer to as, you know, fuzz rock or stoner rock or stoner metal anymore. I would say we're definitely more towards, you know, just straight up rock and roll uh, with some, you know, the, some, the, some of the same stuff we've had for the, the span of our career, you know, a lot of dynamics. Um, you know, really strong drum and bass kind of foundation and all that stuff. And, you know, me on the vocals, kind of uh, with the melodic side of things, you know, I get really into that. So um, I would say it, it definitely sounds different to me, but uh, I think it still sounds really heavy and really good. Right. And then uh, recording studios and producers, anybody that you're working with in particular or on the sound uh, we engineering? Did, we did all of the uh, tracks this time at a place called Sonic Lounge in Columbus. We had, it's actually the first time we've actually recorded in our hometown with a, a guy named Joe Veers who is just a just a great engineer and he's worked with a lot of friends of ours and he uh, he has some amazing equipment got a nice Neve console in there that that sounds phenomenal so we're all really excited about how everything's turning out I don't know. any new gear that you're working with on the tour this time around um, really probably just uh, on on the guitar side of things yeah Adrian's got uh, a Marshall 900 and mm -hmm. uh, you know we picked up a uh, a high watt custom 100 from you know vintage from 74 that uh, he's incorporated into that so i think it just sounds pretty spectacular at the moment right on right on so uh, tell us what's coming up on the tour we've got something like another 35 days i think <laughs> <laughs> this is just this is like the culmination of the first week so we've got all of california and uh all over the south south by southwest and then all the way up the East Coast and through the Midwest. Very so cool. Go. And then you're playing uh, Psycho Las Vegas this year. That's is that true. Correct? Yep. Yeah, Absolutely. I will be there at that as well. It should be a pretty fun yeah. party. Yeah, very, very cool. Very cool. Yeah, absolutely. Right on, right on. Well, thank you so much for your time. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, wish thank you, you so luck much. on the uh, set tonight. I'm very much looking forward to auditing the new material and 
um, line up with the band after the tour is over and see Thank if you, you survive. Thank you for coming out and thanks for having <laughs> the time to speak with us. Thank you so much. All right.